And there is the live button. Medina's making noise, but we'll still get started with the intro. <clears throat> Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, 2015. Hello, everyone. I am your host, Andrew James Adiano from JunkieMonkeys.com. Also for JunkieMonkeys.com is Michael Medina. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I love the energy this today. And then also from JunkieMonkeys.com is Grant Fierro. Hello. We got a topic today, guys. We got some topics today. Let's talk about what's it? Chronicles three. Shit yeah. looks sexy. Shit looks sexy. That I like. I like the short yeah. little trailers. Came out today. Very happy to have. Very very happy when the new the. I have a, all the new series that come out on Wednesday. Am I wrong or am I wrong? We're pretty right. Yeah. Yeah. So skateboard industry likes the Wednesdays days. I mean, we got uh, what was the another big news was uh, Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill, and then last week was the the uh, the name change. Oh yeah. Uh, hence why Medina's sporting the mother logo on his name, huh? Repping hard, dude. R.I.P. Mama. R.I.P. Mama. So I have a theory, guys. I say Corey Candy has first part. Colden has last. Okay. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not a bad thought, but I feel like, you know, Corey's shoes dropping this winter. The video's coming out in December. Corey could have lost part. All their, did all their Chronicle videos come out at the end of the year? I know the second one did. I don't remember about the first one. I, I don't know. I thought I thought the, uh, that Kevin Bradley was going to have first part, and then um, What's-His-Face was going to have the last part, um, uh, Corey Kennedy. Yeah, Corey might, especially with the shoe coming out. I just assume that from the beginning anyway. Or they could just fuck it up and just have that costume, all that costume footage they've been sitting on. You know, I heard a lot of uh, Corey Sodi when he was a uh, when he was a runner up after his uh, pretty sweet part. You think he'll knock down your contender Shane O'Neill? Nah, Shane's filming right now, man. That other part's gonna be just as fucked up as Shane goes, I bet. I mean, I don't know why these guys keep slipping on P Rod. I mean, he's gonna have he out parts. What do you mean? P Rod two fifteen. Oh, his insta vids, man. You gonna turn pro? When Sody is your insta vid. Give him skater of the year based on Instagram. That's ridiculous. Um, what what's your opinion on uh Blake Carpenter on Nike SB now? There, Grant. You told me something. You told you told me he's been on, right? Yeah, he got on a couple months ago because he used to be on Decline and a Asphalt Yacht Club, and then he quit them both because now he's on Nike uh, Footwear and Apparel. So that's what they do, man. That seems to be the program over there. Yeah, mo a lot of their team riders get on the clothing company too. What's the program? What are you saying? Like they get on the apparel side as well as obviously footwear. Is there a skateboarder that's on Nike who's not on apparel? Yeah. Who? Corey Kennedy, Sean Malto. Yeah. Wait, what's still? Malto? Malto's on four star. He is. Yeah, I mean, he still wears Nike clothes a lot. I'm sure he gets more money the more times he wears Nike clothes. I, I know what is Nike apparel. I mean, it's not like I see. I, I don't see much other than them wearing a shirt. They have, do they, they have pants? Uh, do they have pants? Do they? Yeah, they. Do. I've seen them before. Is the shot still on four star? Yeah. That's sick. This as far as I know. I'm fucking heavy, dude. The way it works is like a lot of those guys is like all the ones we just talked about, like they're all on four star. But if you see them in like their most public times, like at Street League, they still wear Nike clothes. For sure. But that's just a money thing, really. Mike Mo's not on four star, is he? No. He, he reps was, their clothes sometimes though. He was he was on Maddox. Mm-hmm. Max is no more? Uh, What's he it on? Is. Yeah. He's on DC Apparel. Yeah. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's interesting. Those Nike. The, the the footwear the footwear sponsors have an apparel. Was uh was Theotis Beasley the first one that they did that with the apparel switchover thing? No, Peter. Because I remember he was rapping hard for Altamont when he was doing those uh those sponsor me video things. Yeah, yeah. But I mean P Rod's the original one that was on the clothing. Oh, oh wait, who was that? Four Star. No, I'm saying P-Rod was the first one on Nike apparel. Yeah, but he's asking what was P-Rod on prior. Yeah. Oh. He used to be on... What was he on 4-Star back in the day? 
You know, I, I think don't know. he was, man. I think he was when he was little, but I, I thought you just meant like in general. But someone like switching, I mean, yeah, yeah. this was probably one of the original ones to do that. And he, uh, you're referring to when Theotis was on Ultima. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, and I've heard Theotis talk about that. I'm trying to remember what it was in some interview, and he said that like it was cool because Reynolds like sat him down and was like it was right after Theotis's signature collection came out with Ultima, and Reynolds was like Nike, like if Nike really wants you, and they're obviously like they can pay you more money than Ultima can, like we can't match that offer. And, like, I want you to be successful and have things you want, so, like, you should take that deal. Right. I always thought that oh, was yeah, so that was in, um, he had referenced that in, uh, in the free lunch. No, 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 what, the weekend buzz, I'm sorry. Yeah, I that's what it was in. so sick how Reynolds always wanted the artists to just get that money, man. I always thought that was tight. That yeah, is dumb. sick. Yeah, but, like, what Nike When I think of the four star, I think of, sorry to cut you off, when I think of the four star, I think of the four star Dragon Ball. I don't nope. even know what that nope. is. Nobody? Nobody. Wow, you guys are fucking lame now. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're lame. Yeah, you're lame because you don't know what a fucking Kamehameha wave is. Um, But really? the Nike, like a lot of the people Nike picks up now, they get on the apparel team. Yeah, let's just skip that whole other bullshit. No, skip what shit? Nothing. Skip what? No, you, motherfucker, you better speak up. I'll, I'll fuck this podcast up right now. Yeah, man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about with your nerdy Dragon Balls, man. <laughs> okay. Is that a pizza shirt I'm seeing? Yeah, Shake John. That is dope. I thought they were yeah. about chicken. Uh, no, this, this one was uh, like um, their team manager's pro or like signature shirt. Donut? Uh, oh, okay. Speaking of, speaking of Mike Mo, he did a kickflip, guys. Thoughts? Is wow. there... Thoughts on the kickflip? Good for him. I'm hyped. I'm glad to see him back. That's one of my all-time favorites for sure. He He's out for how long? He's been out like a year or more, I think. I feel like it's longer than that, man. You think that he's uh he's uh he's messing around with that Monica Torres chick? Who? Dude, she's pretty good. Yeah, dude, she's cute she's as hell. She's actually like good. Yeah, I agree. Front I like, I can't freaking front crook. No, her front side big spin's raw as hell, too. She's good. You said Monica who? Torres. She's, like, Brazilian, I believe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's Brazilian. She's on his, Mike Moe's Instagram and, like, Snapchat all the time. All the time. On, like, each mm. other. Each other. She's, really, she's honestly, like, good. And I know that he likes them skater chicks because, like, I, I'm pretty sure he was fucking around with Leticia for a minute, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, I saw that on Instagram in the past, yeah. too. Oh, I mean, yeah? Didn't last long, though. But I saw, I saw, like, Oh, he just posts. hit it and quit it, huh? <laughs> I mean, Mo, dude, no homo. Mo pulls the baddies, dude. He gets the bad chicks. I want to see this girl you're talking about. Go on his Instagram. He's dope. I'm on it. What which video or which what I gotta I see? No, just look around, find a girl. Find, find his girl, huh? I'll find it for you. Um, oh, okay, Monica Tor. Tor. You got Torres, her now. Tor, Torres without the e, huh? That's a good one. Oh, okay, who's she on? Watch. Oh, huh? yeah, you should probably read it. Vibe Shoes, Boulevard Skate Co, Glassy Sun Haters. Of course, Andale, Brazil, yeah. and Sobra Skate. Oh, hell yeah. Shout out to Sobra Skate. Those What's guys that? are dope. That, that's that uh, company that did the interview on your boy Luan. Yeah, so she's Brazilian. Yeah, behind the scenes thing at Street League with Luan. For sure, got it, got it, got it. Dang! Frontside flip on flat, all sexy. Oh! Okay. You know what? I think I'll give her a follow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give her a nice follow, a nice healthy follow here. We're good. Let's talk. Well, what's up with uh, speaking of girls and skateboarding? Nicki Minaj, Asphalt collaboration with Nyjah. Come on, guys, let's hear it up. You know that shit's hot as fuck. Come on, Nicki Minaj, man, you're fuck. Fuck you, Grant. Fuck you and your thumbs down. Boo. Come on, man. I know. I know you're down with the Asphalt. She has absolutely nothing to do with skateboarding. Asphalt is. I mean, I don't know. I don't like asphalt. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Have you ever owned an asphalt shirt, Mike? <laughs> nah. Why not? 
<laughs> really? Yeah. Because he's not a steezer. That shit's so lame. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's lame about it? I'm just not a fan of the tanks. I don't like the tanks. What? I think it's like exclusively at Zoomies and Tillies now. I don't think it's in a single skate shop. Lame. Fuck, dude. Uh, you know what sucks is my boy Stephen Lawyer reps them hard as hell, dude. That's because yeah. they're tight, man. Uh, they, Seva's, they... Over there. Seva's over there now, too. Yeah. I'm they surprised Riley Hawk team. is still on. Who? Riley Hawk. I'm surprised he hasn't quit yet. He must be paying him for his name. Yeah, like. exactly. He's getting a lot of money. And it's funny because, like, Volume 4, which is uh, it's through Baker Boys, I've seen him wear their clothes. Still getting the AYC money, though. So. Well, why do I hear listen to Volume 4? Is that a skateboard thing or is that a band? What is that? Well, Volume 4 is a Black Sabbath album, but it's like a clothing company now. Nuge gotcha. is one of the owners from Baker. Gotcha. I wonder if they're still doing that, um, what are those glasses that they had? Happy Brigada. Hour? No, Happy well, Hour. Happy Hour and Brigada. Oh, happy Hour is still sick. around. I got asked by a viewer how I feel about that, too. I don't know why, but he asked how I feel about Happy Hour shades. And I'm happy sick. Hour is sick. Yeah, that's Brayden, right? That's Brayden. Yeah, Brayden's a friend. And Brian and uh, Brian Herman. I'm back in Brayden, dude. Are you kidding me? Speaking they used of, to do Brigada, dude, did, you, did you see that Insta video that he did? At the girl park? No. Dude, but did you know that he Brady's does... Do you, know what, do you know what Munchies is? Like the, the Vice channel? No. Never heard of it. Um, it's like an underground like restaurant, like food kind of thing or whatever, like culinary shit. And uh, fucking what's-his-face, Brayden has done like two or three episodes now about Las Vegas. They're tight as fuck. Dude, you should go watch them. They're awesome. He, like, oh, takes okay. Las Vegas and like talks about like his favorite restaurants and shit. It's dope, dude. And like the nightlife and stuff. It's cool. So uh, Brayden's yeah. doing other stuff right now, so I'm I'm happy. Brayden's always been one of my favorites, man, ever since America. Uh, which one? Like the fucking America video, dude. Oh, the State Gold. I don't think well, was he in. He was in this skateboarding. Yeah, but State Gold is what made me like. All right, Brayden's that dude. His B sides were what like the main thing, really. That was the shit. I think his Baker three part was better. Well, yeah. How B sides no. like people can really like B sides and it's like not even in the actual video. Yeah, I mean, I, like I, don't, mean, I don't mean I don't mean trick wise either. I don't mean trick wise better. The whole video, the the part, the the song, that was him at his prime. I think his prime was in fucking state gold, man. That part was heavy. I feel like he just did a lot of manuals. What? That's all I remember. No, no, no. Speaking of manuals, okay, this is a question for both of you guys. <laughs> How do you feel about the long, like, like elongated manual trick in a part? A long manual? Yeah. It's like the same shit. I mean, yeah, it's 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 like, like too much at this are point. Are you talking? If you if you I mean, I don't. Manual? Does the length of the manual impress you at all? Is what yeah. I mean. Not in a video, in person. Uh, you you know what? Yeah, it does it does in person because Billy Jackson has a mean nose manual, and I recall one time. Well, he he switches it up. It was a let's go skate where he was we're skating a three stair or two stair, and he he ollied up the two. He man he nose manualed it. Then he went around, and while he's in the nose, no no I'm sorry he manualed. I apologize. He ollied up, did the manual, went all the way around, and then he went back around the two. And then he ollies up it, then nose manuals it, and then goes into the street. So that I mean, that's if if it's just a manual, regardless yeah, if you flipped talking, into it. You're no. talking to him like weaving in and around shit, so that automatically makes it more interesting than a, than a kickflip manny down a fucking street a block long. Like I really don't care, dude. You could get about. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, like seriously, you could get 15 feet into that, and I'd be. Fine, that's cool. Like I can't, in. I can't do that. But even if I could, like, what about a nose manual? I don't long ones. Like I don't think it's that interesting. Like I wouldn't, if I could do a super long manual, I wouldn't put it in my part. What about a mile yeah. long nose manual? A mile long nose manual? That's impossible. No, nah, dude, I mean, I've seen hey, going do go, that going downhill. Like four minutes it's long. A, it's a downhill nose manual. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I know. It's just not exciting. It's like. After the first three seconds, you already know what's going on. You know, like 
Exactly. Yeah. And like I'm, at that point, like it gets to a certain point where I'm sitting there waiting for the flip out. Like I want to see something fucking crazy. So if you do a little backside with any revert, I get kind of bummed out. I guess. What about what? What if they don't do anything out and you're you're waiting for it? Then they just, <laughs> they, they just let it go. They just let it go. That's extra lame to me. It really. <laughs> Like, I just don't care about the length of the manual. I care much more about the flip-in, flip-out, and the style of the actual manual. than It could be fucking three blocks long, and I'd be like, okay, that was cool. Like, I stopped watching three seconds and went. What's your opinion on... Well, well not, not your opinion. I guess I want to ask. How many... This is a question I have. How many guys... How many boards have you guys broken? Like, when? Ever. Ever. Wow. I think I've cracked like two. I've never, I've never fully snapped a board. Oh man, I, I, I've been through my stages, my phases of breaking boards. For sure. I just cracked. Well, I think, I think, I think your memory serves. If you were doing the, the wear test on the Josh Kayla shoot, you broke a board, did you not? Yeah, it was already cracked too. I broke one board. Now, and it, it always happens. I've broken tons I've of cracked, them. I've well, I've cracked many boards, but I only fully yeah. broken one, like how Grant's saying. Once it was a girl board; it was brand new. Rick McCrank, Eric Cosson signed it. I did a lip slide on my rail that my friend Trevor Carrasco built. My when I do a lip slide, I used to ollie over and I'd slam down, slam fucking as hard as I could on that shit. Then it break. I was young, man. I thought I thought, man, the second. I was worried if you didn't slam down, like it wouldn't be even out, and I would. I think I think I take the term sandbagging from Tony Hawk Pro Skater's trick tip, so I don't want to say that. So I want to say ollie over, and it doesn't it doesn't level out right. It just, but I slammed it and it broke. I didn't get my dick. I'm so glad I didn't get my dick. What is the what else is on the docket here? I wanted to add. Oh, you know what? Uh, Transworld posted Riley Hawks. Uh, it's called Outliners. Is that what it's called? Outliers. Outliers. It's from the Transworld I, video last year. Yeah, I never saw it. It's amazing. Sick. Yeah. Riley Hawk has. I had no idea he does grinds that long, man. I think he's a contender. Oh, that back fifty. All of them. He has plenty. He has yeah, plenty of long ass grinds. That curved rail at the end is. That curve rail was nuts. You see him skate in real life. I haven't. I would love to. You fucking shred. I've, I've seen him in person once. At I feel like I should though, cause yeah, he skates. Yeah, he skates all. Yeah, he skates yeah. all. How do we fucking Chris Jocelyn's no hope part? Dude, I was one of the first ones to catch on to that. Oh man, and I'm you so were... glad you you made the article and that video was nasty. I like the thumbnail you used too, cause I was I showed Marquise that. I saw I, I saw the first guy's part, then I saw Jocelyn's part. How's the rest yeah, of the video? Was it good? Was good? The whole video is good. Okay, well, I just saw... I had to see Jocelyn. Yeah, was, as, everyone's part in that video is definitely worth watching. That video is dope. Who had last part? Uh, I don't know any of their names besides Jocelyn. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. That hard flip, though. Dude, fuck that. The one that I, I screenshotted? Yes. I know what's funny is I noticed that Transworld used almost the exact same screenshot for their article post, and I was like, "Bitch, man, you can't, not bad about that." You can't, you, you can't use any other shot. What other no. shot are you gonna use, man? Uh, there was a, there was a switch frontside flip that I almost used too. It was a super good one, but I just yeah. think that the the aesthetics of the other picture look way cooler. Well, yeah, what it is, it's not it's not it's not more it's not more so the trick. It's the spot. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The, the spot is yeah. fucked. It's a double yeah. water gap. I'm a big fan of uh, seeing hard flips done over shit. It's like one of my favorite tricks to see over something for sure. Who has the best hard flip in the game? Damn, that's a good one. Uh, Jimmy Carlin. Jimmy Carlin. Malta has a good hard flip. You know what, guys? Um, I'm gonna. Well, I'm, gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to. Oh, why'd you Luan say that? Luan so good. God damn it. I was going to give it to Andrew Pott, but the one is... He catches it totally sideways. sideways. His body and then brings it back is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I think Luan. Yeah, you got to give it yeah, to Yeah, I'll go with Luan. But Andrew Pott's a close second for me. Oh, well, that guy's really good, too. He used to be on shorties. Well, that's a really good hard foot. Now you got me thinking about hard foot. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I dude, honestly, Luan comes to mind now. Chris yeah, Cole, over. Chris Cole, and also Tommy Sandoval, notably have some of the cleanest switch hard flips. I, I like. So the, is, I was I like asleep the on that list. You ever seen Ronnie Krieger's fucking switch hard flips? Yeah, I did. I saw the one they did over that. Um, very good. They're very good. What is that? What is that spot called? Oh my god, I'm mad. I don't remember. It was in his blind what if part. Oh, I'm not gonna remember. What? Chino. Really like Chino. Chino. He does it on Chino. Thank you, Chino. The four block. Uh, yeah, but it's not just the four block. He goes up by by the top of the stairs. There's another. It, it makes the. It's like he goes at it sideways. So there's okay. a stair set. Uh, like a like normal stairs that are above it, uh, on the side, and he and he switch hard flips it going diagonally. That's crazy. Oh, and, a shot is good hard flips. Yeah, they're good, but I don't really like the way that most people switch hard flips look. I think they uh, look what, tight. Like what about Jocelyn? Flips. No, I mean he mostly does regular oh. ones. I'm saying. Most people that do them switch like scoop it and like kind of pressure it and it goes straight up. Mm -hmm. and, like I don't I don't know I don't always like the way that looks. Dude, Chris Jocelyn gets super ghetto down shit and I think that's crazy. You yeah. know that's that not not only does he get super ghetto down shit but he gets super ghetto in his appearance according to my roommate. He says I don't like how dirty he looks. I'm like he's fuck he's skating. <laughs> he I was like he's supposed to look he dirty. He's like yeah I know but his cool. his swag is. The swag doesn't look good. Yeah, he is—he is a little dirty-looking dude, but who gives he's a shit? A, yeah, he's a skate rat. You know, you know, he's out there just to get it. He right? Raw. Yeah. Did he leave LRG? Over there. Huh? Is he still on LRG? Yeah. As long as, as far as I know, I'll check. Did he have a sleeper part in that video too? No, they haven't. I like went to. They have an account just about that video I came across the other day, and they didn't have his name on it. Yeah, but they also I feel like they're missing other people's name on that on that list that I saw too. I mean I bet he'll have like a couple of tricks. Oh wait. It doesn't say LRG on his profile anymore. Oh no shit. That doesn't surprise me. I feel like he never really repped him that hard and they never posted anything about him. Well, I felt like it was well he, he wore it. He wore it. Yeah, he wore it in the beginning because that's what you do when yeah. you get a new sponsor. It must have just died out. Uh are, when you're looking on there, can you look on LRG site? Yeah, usually, when, uh, usually when you leave a clothing brand, it's because someone else is giving you boxes. You know what I mean? So I wonder who's trying to like bring him over there. Asphalt, well, man, honestly, fuck yeah, no. asphalt for life. No, he never really like. I never saw LRG posts about him before. Like I don't feel like he was ever like on the team. Like, they never posted oh. anything about him. Yeah, but, like, uh, I remember Seba used to rep LRG, too. And they yeah. stopped. I remember I straight up, like, asked him in an in a Instagram comment one time. I was like, are you going to have a part in the LRG video? And he says, no, no, I'm not going to have a part. And then, like, two seconds later, he deleted his comment. Well, that's just weird. Yeah. So he must have, like, not been able to give that away and kind of just gave it away on accident kind of thing. Yeah. Well, let me see. Yeah, I mean, there's not a picture of Chris Jocelyn on the LRG team page, but I don't really think there ever was. All right. He's going go well, to go Well, this isn't really a team page, but it's just photos of basically everybody. So They don't have a team page on their site? I don't see one right now. I just clicked on the skate. You go to LRG, and then you can go to skate, and then it has a picture of a bunch of team riders. He's going to go to Asphalt. I don't think so. Yeah, man. He's, he's down. He reps active hard, and he reps grizzly clothing. And Etnies. Mm -hmm. I wonder how come Etnies doesn't have an apparel program. They used to. I mean, I'm sure they still make clothes, but I remember they like, Sheckler used to have, like, a line of clothes with them before he got back on Volcom and stuff. Well, that part, that Chris Jocelyn part, No Hope, was one of the best parts of this week. Matching it, or at least coming to a close second, was Mark Susiu's... Suchu, I'm sorry. I'm still learning that. Thank God he finally said his, like, he said his name, so I know how to say it. Mark Suchu. He put out a full part. Not, but it wasn't a full part, but it was it was good enough to be... It was. I don't think that matched Chris Jocelyn's part by any means. I thought it was dope, though. 
I'm saying as far as dope shit that came out this last week. Oh, well then Carlos Ribeiro, dude. What the fuck? That shit was God. bad. Yeah, I didn't watch it yet, man. I'll watch it now. But can we get, let's talk about I I have a uh, Mark Sutro. Cool, yeah, Mark Sutro. I have some I have some notes that I wanted to That wanted 180 to... fakey 50. Uh that time. more more so like what what the what the video oh was about. It, it had showcased him skating plazas all around the United States. He had him skating uh Muni Plaza, it was a Muni Municipal Plaza, Love Park. Pulowski, that's in Washington. Freedom Plaza, Flushing Meadows in New York, and Columbus Circle. And I liked that those... I didn't understand what the hell the Brass Jacks numbers were. Did you guys see that? No, those, oh, yeah, I didn't get that. I looked it up, but he was... Um, I like that he mentioned Edmund Bacon in the Love Park segment because Edmund Bacon... I believe it's his father who who designed Love Plaza. They they used a quote from him saying, "Oh no, it it wasn't a quote. I'm sorry. It just it, he had talked about just random uh, just facts about all the spots that uh, a few of the spots that he skated. And also notably, I like to mention that they had other Adidas riders in the film. Also, I feel like I said that. I feel like I said Muni Plaza wrong. Muni Municipal Municipal." Municipal. Is that it? Okay, thank you. Very, very dope spots. That didn't inspire you want to go to the East Coast. Oh, you live. In the, is, are you considered to be this coast? Or are you Midwest? What, what, where, what, what part of Chicago? I don't know. I don't know where you're from. Anything that's not California, I don't know. I don't know where you guys are from. <laughs> where? Which, Grant, Grant, hold on, Grant. What is? Where's Chicago? Where in the U.S. map is that's Chicago? That's the Midwest, I think. Is it? Yeah, dude. It's just like as Midwest as you can fucking get, man. Yeah, because they have the middle. Are you closer than I thought. Middle time zone, whatever that time zone's called. What's your time zone difference? What two what time hours. is it there? Two different two hours. Okay. Two hours ahead of you. Okay, so the it's watching 50. watching watching this part. Did it make you want to skate the East Coast? No. It made me want to skate a sick plaza, but. Did it bother you that you didn't want that they didn't show anything from Chicago? No, that doesn't. That shit doesn't bother me. Chicago does pop up in videos more often than you think, though. I wouldn't know, but I know that you have the eye for it. Exactly. Yeah, tell me, tell me about Carlos Park. All right, dude, the best way for me to describe it, and, dude, he's definitely one of those P-Rod type skaters that, like, you don't know when he's skating switch or when he's skating regular. And I, Grant said he didn't like it. I thought it was fucking heavy, dude. I watched it twice. I thought it was great. I, I agree that it was... I like, at the end of the video, like, I'm surprised he wasn't pro the day that it dropped. Yeah, I mean, I agree it was really gnarly. It was really tech. Oh, that actually didn't... It didn't happen? He They did not turn him pro? Not yet. Wow, just dropped that part in the barracks. Yeah. Um, it was obviously like really good, as in like how good he is. But it was just like wasn't for like the type of thing I enjoy to watch. I'm watching it now. I like the the I mean, you're not gonna get the full thing out of it because it's like three or four minutes long. I'm pretty sure. But he had a lot of footage. Yeah, he's got a ton of footage. And P-Rod's got a few clips, too. And I'm pretty sure Nick Tucker was in there. This yeah. is, and okay. I think, did Bastion have a clip and Brian Peacock? I feel like the whole primitive people were in there. Yeah, oh, dude, you're right. Speaking of uh, that, you you compared it to, like, when, uh, when I said I don't really like watching Felipe just because of the fact that it kind of, like, you, you know how good he is, but it just doesn't excite you. Is that the case? Yeah, that's just how it is for me for watching him. I guess I, I guess I can't really say much because I definitely understand. Like I watched Felipe do a tray flip crooked grind in person, and I was like blown the fuck away. But then, like when his part in True True dropped, I watched it. I've watched it once the initial time I watched the video, and then never again. I've skipped That's off. what footage does. It's weird. Yeah, watching that is someone what... skate in person is so much more exciting. Oh hell yeah! Wow. Like you, like, especially when you can like see the spot or see even if it's at like a skate park. Like, just to know yep. how big or long that thing is that they do the trick on makes you, right. like, understand how gnarly that actually is. 
know, bringing up uh, Le- uh, Luan again, that's how he was, dude. Seeing him skate in person is fucked up, dude. He skates I, uh, fast. Yeah, because I saw him at ba- – I went to Battle of the Barracks last year. Well, I guess I saw him at Street League too, but Street League, you're like kind of far away and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, like, yeah, about the barracks, I was like right next to him, basically, like the front of the fence they put around. And yeah. he would roll in from the top of the bank, and everyone else is just like going from flat, and he's going from the top of this bank, popping his trick super high. And he would go, and he would do like a super big frontside flip, and right when he'd land, he would half cab, like dude. immediately when his four wheels hit the ground. Yeah, he's amazing, dude. He's so much board control. Now, another person that was like extra gnarly in person to see, like as opposed to just in clips, was was Tommy Sandoval. Like he skates fast as fuck too, dude. Yeah, he he just goes for it. Yeah, he just goes for it. Yeah, it's so true. Like he literally, if you if you watch his footage, he's like he's fully committed to every trick, even if yeah. the board's like halfway flipped upside down. Like he's trying to stick it. That's how I am. So I definitely appreciate that. That's Dude, crazy. Paul, Paul's so good, man. Paul is so good. Yeah, he is. There's no denying that. It's true. It's a good Tuck, Tucker is dope. I, I like how he bent down, or uh, like he was leaning on that on that. Uh, was that a nolly cab heel or nolly front side heel? Not that stair set. Damn, man, this part's really good. Told you. The the banger, the ender is super heavy too. Oh Mike, did you see that um like in that park Carlos used to get hooked up by Converse? Wait, what? In in Carlos's part, like in some old footy he was wearing Converse. Converse. Who was that? That's Carlos before Nike. That's funny. I didn't I didn't I definitely noticed that right away. I was like, who the fuck is that in Converse? I knew that. Like I, I didn't know that when he was on, but I remember like seeing old footy and I was like, oh, that's weird. Like He used to rep Converse. That's and that's also sure. weird because like, switching from Converse to Nike, like Nike owns both. And I've yeah. no one really switches in between those companies. Is he on Nike? Yeah, yeah he, he reps hard. Him for sure. They posted something he's about his be, part. He's going to be the big shit, I bet you. I bet you he sticks around when he gets pro. I bet you the next part is going to be just as good. He's really fucking tech, man. And he seems extra stupid consistent. Did you guys see that, like, longest game of skate ever between him and p or whatever? <laughs> that was gnarly. Do you think that was real or not? I don't know. I was trying to figure it out the whole time. There was I so mean, it many wasn't, jumps. It wasn't real that all the phones died. Like, there was another iPhone in the oh, building that, that was... Funny. That was just funny. Yeah, but, like... I bet. That was, I thought it was cool. It was a cool post, but are you asking, like, do I think they did all those tricks first try? No. I couldn't the same thing. figure it out. I'll definitely give it. Was that like a Nolly 360 heel eating pizza? Like, what the fuck? That was <laughs> like, holy shit. Yeah, have you, have you done a trick eating pizza yet, Mike? Yeah. Dude, speaking of that, I really, oh, God, dude, it's funny that you bring this up. I really want to fucking recreate the, like, Costin fucking pizza box Ollie. I mm-hmm. really, really want to do that, dude. What would you Ollie over? Would you Ollie over a couch? Yeah, for sure. It would have to be a couch. That's just the way you have to do it. You, like, you want to recreate it as far as filming, or you want to take a photo of it, too, and post it on Instagram? Photo. photo. Well, I want a photo of it, but like, I'd want a photo. Um, we were just talking about shoes, and I don't know, Drew, I know you watched the last one, but there was a new Pure Out Live. Yeah, and that, one, that, one, that one was boring. Yeah, it was with Nick Tucker, but anyway. Um, <laughs> nah, Nick Tucker's tight. The, I'm not the, hating on Nick Tucker, but yeah. I agree. But like, I don't know. I just like listening to him doing I, something else. I, I thought it was, well, there, there was more fun stories involved. I'm totally cut With Mikey, because they grew up together. Right. But um, Nick, we saw like that post on Instagram. I don't think we've talked about on here that Nick's going to be on a diamond skate footwear thing. Right, yeah. And correct. Nick mentioned that in the uh, in the oh, he did. live. Yeah. For sure, so they're actually doing that. So, yeah, I, I mean, they've had, like, the diamond, like, casual footwear, but I guess they're going to make ones that are, like, more built for skating and market it that way, and mm-hmm. he's going to be on them. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm, like, an OG diamond head. Like, I got into that shit, like, real early, mm-hmm. and, like, I used to really, really follow the brand and, like, really follow Nick Terche and shit, and, like... Um, and Nicky Diamond. What's that? Yeah, yeah. When they initially... When they initially 
dropped like the footwear line altogether. They straight up said like his his quote himself. I remember reading this on multiple platforms that he was like, you can either skate them or you can chill in them. They're built for both. And then when people did that, they complained about how shitty the first run. I actually have the first run of diamond shoes in my room right now, but um. They were complaining about how shitty they were breaking down and all this. And then real, real fucking quick, he turned the corner and said, uh, no, they're built, they're a lifestyle shoe, they're for, they're for like, <laughs> skaters when they're not skating, they're, they're this and they're that. So when they did this whole diamond footwear, like, skate line thing, I, I wasn't surprised one fucking bit. That would make sense for him, you know what I mean? Especially because, like, he's, he's past the whole, like, up and coming thing like this dude sold his fucking soul basically like I'm not hating I'm not like I'm really not I'm genuinely not hating at all but that brand has done a complete fucking 180 of how it was like it's completely different you know have you seen their have they released anything as far as their skate line stuff yet for the shoes no okay I think there's an ad actually dude have you seen that I think there's an ad I saw a thing on Instagram, but I feel like that was their like shooting for the ad that's gonna like be in a magazine or something. So did you try? Know. Did you try and skate that shoe also, Medina? Yeah, I did, I did a few kick. I skated flat once and I couldn't stand. They felt like boots. Wow. <laughs> so it, it wasn't. It wasn't. A, so it wasn't like the shoes broke really easy. It was just they didn't feel comfortable. For me personally, they felt like shit. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a shoe that I had experience like that with. I haven't had shitty shoes. Oh, there was one the the Mike Mo DC Pro model. I didn't. Um, the new S. I fucking hated them. Have you ever skated? Really? Um, Grant, have you ever skated that spot? <sighs> Billy used to skate a lot. Of Let's go skates. It was like the. Uh, damn it! What is that spot called? Fuck! It's by. It's by the ocean. A lot of skate mafia guys skate it. It's a it's like a little ditch spot. And you could you could grind the one the, in Del Mar. Thank you. The Del Mar spot. I was I rolling down I don't want to. Huh? I haven't gone there, but I'm trying to go. Looks fun. Oh you've never been? No. Okay, well there's a little bit of a hill. Well, it's, it's actually a pretty lengthy hill. It's not gnarly, gnarly by any means. Uh, yeah, at least, yeah. The, I've at, least seen the, at least the skate standard, so you're rolling down the hill. I uh I don't power slide to slow down. I I stick out my big toe on my on my back foot and I slow down that way. And it Why? it fucking ate that shoe up, man. <laughs> ate. That's terrible for the soul. Yeah, but I've I've done it for years. Other shoes have held up just fine. It ate it like Cookie Monster. I I look at the back of my foot. I could not believe it. I just had it. I I had hey, it for maybe actually, a week or so. So I've. I prefer vulcanized shoes in the way that they skate and everything, but I've skated a couple pair of, of cup soles, mm -hmm. and I feel like they never last as long, ever. Cup like soles not for me. I don't the outsole always flattens faster, but I like Volk more either way, but like... Mm -hmm. sure. Volk I don't know the difference. It's the way it's oh, built. I it. I, I I don't know the difference between the shoes. I don't really care about Volker cup sole. I just I wear a shoe and I try and skate it. I don't I personally don't feel it. Is there is there a significant difference? Is there something yeah. I'm missing? It's the way yeah. they're built. Yeah, but can you feel it? Yeah. I don't know. Do a half cap heel for us or what? <laughs> All right. Well, let's not change the subject here. I mean, I'm still gonna give that. Okay. To you. So a Volk a Volk generally a Vulcanized shoe is gonna be really thin and not have quite as much board protection. Uh -huh. as a cup sole. A cup sole, the midsole, which is like the outside part of the shoe, and the and the sole on the bottom yeah. is all one piece. Yeah, but my question is you could feel the difference right when you put it on. I think so. Yeah, I feel like vulcanized are generally more flexible too. It's like a thinner thing. Yeah, I don't I have no idea, man. I just wear I just wear the shoes. I don't ask if it's this or that. What's the uh Kayla's shoe, Medina. The Wolf S. Yeah. What is that vulcanizer or is that cup? Uh, it's probably cup. Did he say it? It's a cup sole? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a good shoe. I enjoy it. It's a damn uh, good shoe. I, okay, well, uh, we'll go ahead and start getting into the because I know Grant has to take off right now. So let's let's go ahead and get to the questions here. I'll check the Q&A real quick. 
I'm gonna get up the YouTube one. Yes, thank you very much. I'm gonna talk about how I uh, I want to talk, talk about uh, Chris Cole's NBD. He did a lot of NBDs. Yeah, we already talked about that. I think. Uh, yeah. Th thank you, Art. Appreciate the question. I want to interview uh, Timmy Johnson. Who's that? Um, he's from Chicago. I actually we have a lot oh, of friends. Are you talking about from Cody Cepeda's push? Yeah. That guy's good. Yeah, he's amazing. Him, seeing him skate in real life is fucked up, dude. Where'd you skate with him at? He's super duper smooth. He'll do like fucking eight, ten tricks in a line, like no bullshit. And I'm trying to. I want to interview him, and I really want to talk because he's like he. All right, my uh, my I have one of my good friends is in the, I don't want to name drop and shit. One of my good friends is uh his name is Sean Turner. Mm-hmm. And uh, he works for Zoomies, and he does like uh, he does he uh, he's one of the best foot forward judges. Okay. He does for a living, but he's also one of the best skateboarders I've definitely the best skateboarder I've ever skated with. One of the best skateboarders I've ever seen. Uh, he's a uh, flow for Lakai, and he skates for a Chicago company called um called Blue Town, which is um, if you know anything about Neen Williams before he fucked with Deathwish, he was on a company called Affiliate, which is a Chicago brand, and okay. they. They ended is, up, is Neen uh, Williams from Chicago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he ended up that at that brand ended up like whatever. They're not a brand anymore. They ended up coming back under the fucking name Blue Town, which is a name for Chicago, where our colors are blue and shit like that. It's just what we call it. We're Blue Town, All right? Anyway. Isn't Timmy on uh, them? What's that? Isn't Timmy on them? Timmy, Timmy's been really fucking repping for them, which is like. Make I guess has been like really like driving their board sales up. You've been see I've been seeing a lot more of their boards like just in like like locally just around or whatever. And I want to talk to him about that. I want to talk to him about like uh, his influence on this whole Cody Cepeda part. If he's filming a part as well, like I want to like all right. So like I'm gonna get in touch with them, and I just want to know if anyone else has any questions that they want me to ask him. Is what basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, all right. Well, go ahead. And, uh, if you have a question, Medina's gonna reach out. Leave a question for him in the. I mean, he's definitely gonna have clips in the comments below. Oh yeah, definitely. I know that you, for a fact. You you said it's called Blue Town boards. Yeah, Blue Town skateboards. Have you ridden one? Yes, they're they feel great. What about they're an affiliate mine? board? Did you ride an affiliate board? No, nah, that was. I mean, man, I mean, shit, I might have. You know, honestly, that was during the time like my skate rat days. So like. Back then, boards were whatever, you know, new board every week, two weeks kind of thing. All right, some of the co comments here. Thomas asks, your, your thoughts on skaters from the Netherlands? They're the fucking best. No one's ever touched the Netherlands. Like the Netherlands skaters? These guys are the Who's best. Who's from the Netherlands? I don't know, but they're the best. Dominic Skate says, right yo. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, oh, yo, Dominic. No. Out. Alex I think Dave is from the Netherlands. Alex asks, Medina, what is your local skate shop? I'm from Chicago, too. My local skate shop is called Fargo Skateboarding. We were known as Small Town Skate Shop, but we changed our name, and we're going along with like the our indoor park kind of thing. When did Fargo. you change? When did the name change? Just within the last year, right? Within the last like month or two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Fargo. yeah, Fargo. Fargo. Lucas says hi, hi Lucas. Thank you for listening. PJ, hey, hey PJ. Hello, nice Did to. Someone said on the YouTube ones. They said, "Tell Medina a little bird told me revive boards are made by Syndrome, which makes birdhouse boards." Really? Interesting. No Did way. Not... I mean, it's not distributed by Syndrome. I know that. Yeah, but he's saying that they're made the same wood. Is what he's trying to say. Yeah, oh, I know. The same I'm wood. Okay. Yeah, it's the same wood. That. Same wood. That's dope. That'd be that's cool. I, I back that. I back that brand. Honestly, I, I mean, whatever, dude. Their branding is a little. Their branding is a little zonky and a little fucking weird for me with the whole like YouTube buy one. thing. I'm not gonna buy one. I'm just not gonna <laughs> buy one. Jump boy says, "All right, wait. Do do you guys carry revive skateboards at that shop? I don't know any shop that does. I thought it was an online." I think it's on a couple shops, but it's mostly definitely online. Jump Boy asks, are you guys going to watch the We Are Blood Mountain Dew movie, and what's up with the new suspension trucks? Suspension trucks. I never yeah. heard of them. Those I don't stupid. know what that is. I see that little, little thing on my Facebook feed. It's like a... It's like a... They have shocks on them? Is that what he's saying? Shock. Yeah, it's like shocks, basically. 
It's it's fucking useless. It's just one of those gimmick things that skateboarders like to do when they're not skateboarding anymore and stuff like that. Oh wow, they, they, have, a, they have a they have a kick art, they have a Kickstarter, AvenueTrucks.com. Okay. As for the first part, yes, I'm definitely gonna watch the Mountain Dew movie. We are blood. Yeah, I'll watch it. Super dope. I think it's gonna be sick, dude. Hey Drew, you know they're premiering it in San Diego? No, they're yeah. not, are they? When? Yeah. I'm I'm looking up right now. If I don't have work, I'm yeah, I'm yeah. Uh, we get a Kickstarter for Mike Medina to get out to San Diego to see his homies or what? Oh yeah, you guys should do that. That'd be sick. Oh man, we got we got let's go skates to film, right, Drew? You got shut the fuck up. Yeah, wait, wait. If Mike comes, can we do that? <laughs> dude, I would love to, man. Get a Kickstarter going, dude. I need some. I need all his plane money, dude. I'll yeah. stay with my homie. Give me give me a Kickstarter to buy a house so we could <laughs> do, so we could so we could skate and live all day. Well, yeah, that'd be ideal. But I mean, realistically, I bet you we could get my ass out to California, dude. It says, wow, this is interesting. I've never seen these trucks. Our unique steering suspension provides riders for a first, first ever floating pivoting point. That is gnarly. That Question from Jalen Cooper asking, have you ever heard of InstaLedge? Yeah, I have. It looks sick. What's that? What's that? I've never heard of it. So it's like a video on this thing. InstaLedge, I, I saw it like a couple months back. It's kind of like the top part of a bench, and you can put it over. It has these little holes. It's hard to explain, but like you can basically skate a skate stop hard. ledge. That's amazing. It's sick. That's amazing. I'm it's back in that fold. That's cool as hell. Why didn't? Okay, see, here's the thing. Now watch that do really well. And why the fuck did we not think of that? Exactly. Oh. How practical. And especially if it's going to somehow, if it's affordable, that's the most practical thing in skateboarding within the next 10 years. Watch. It's going to be fucking everywhere. Okay. Um, oh, Drew, We Are Bloods premiering in San Diego Thursday, September 3rd. Dude, I'm not listening to anything you guys are saying. I'm watching the suspension truck thing, man. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm they have, so into that. No, yeah. they, they have a good point. There's a good point. I'm, I'm, I'm low-key into innovation. I'm into technology. And I'm into I'm into performance. I before, if I wasn't into, if I went I went to school originally to become an automotive mechanic. Side note. So, I'm. They have a good point. They said everything else that has it, it, no 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 everything that has wheels has a suspension system. I just I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted by it. But I, no no I'm just I'm intrigued by it a little bit. They have my interest. Okay. But correction. I mean I I don't know I. I don't know. I'd have to talk to a mechanical and engineer, but I mean, we're skateboarders, so would you say the pivot, the the um, what is that shit called? The bushings isn't that part of the suspension a little bit? Yeah, um, it basically, is it? Takes I would assume impact. so. I would assume so. Anyways, what'd you ask me? Uh, I just said we are bloods premiering here September third, a Thursday. That's three days before my birthday. Oh, that is lame. I can't go. Wait, you said a Thursday? Yeah, I can't go. Yeah, I work on Thursdays. What time? I don't know, at night. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't go. Fucking lame. I'd love to get I'd love to get the P Rod interview. He's not gonna be there. Why not? He'll be there. Why do they do have thirty other premieres. Oh that... oh it's not the world premiere. I thought no. you said it's, I thought you said this I thought you said it's, oh then I don't fucking care. Unless it's the world premiere, it's not worth it. The world premiere's in LA, like every other It already happened, right? Didn't it already happen? No, that happens in like two weeks, I think. No. Oh. In the middle of August. I think it's like the 13th oh, or the 14th. Jocelyn is killing a late. Yeah, Medina, what's your question? No, we got a lot of questions. Okay, uh, if you're looking for Kevin Bradley footage, look up the illegal CIV1 and illegal CIV2. Oh, Those are dope. Yeah, I've seen that. That's the shit. Kevin are you guys, are you guys hyped for the push video parts? What is that? Yep, fairy. What is that? We talk about this all the time. Drew the thing on the barracks. Oh yeah, are aren't they still making them? Yeah. Yeah. The oh, uh, coming real soon though. Oh yeah, we've been hyped. Yeah, we've been hyped. The video part's gonna be sick. Who, who's are you looking uh, forward to the most? Ooh, Josh Matthews and Trevor Colden and Ashad. I don't know all of them. They're all sick. Okay, Black Diamond says that he finds it hard to find footage online of Kevin of Kevin Bradley. He thinks he's the out of everybody on Supreme montages, he has the fewest footage. Check out those parts that the homie Phil just mentioned. 
Uh, Bradley, yeah, in his, in illegal CIV-1, illegal CIV-2. Um, and he has such little footage. The reason he has such little footage in the Supreme montage is because all of his good shit is obviously going to be in Chronicles, dude. And look up Swoosh, the new, the new William Strobeck video. He back shuts tail. it down with that back tail. Woo! Did anybody yeah. see the new Skate Mafia promos on Insta? Jimmy Cow was boss. Of course. Of course. Jimmy Cow, Jimmy I saw that new Skate Mafia monthly. It was sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Alexis went so hard. He just yeah, fucked, dude. fucked his shit up. My, my boy Alexis Honestly, is the best. I enjoy those so much. Like, I would watch it either way. But, like, knowing and, like, skating a lot of those spots before, it's even sicker to watch. Just, uh, just, I've only been to San Diego once, and I've only went street skating and stuff. Like, only, I think, one out of the three, maybe two out of three days I was there. And, like, straight up, like, I need to get my ass back to Balboa Park. <laughs> what are you going to do? You like that? it that much? He, yeah. wa- he likes the skate gaff. He wants to skate Yeah, I, got, I was just going to say, I got oh, shit. Oh, don't go there. I'm... <laughs> I got tricks for that bitch, dude. I'm telling you. Mondays. Oh, oh, there he is. What'd you get down at? What did I get down at? We didn't even get to skate it. My homie fucking ollied it, and I set up the camera to try to film a hard flip, and then literally just got the boot. What day did you go? Oh man, we I came during the week, so it was during the week, and it was during. Wait, was it cops that kicked you out? No, it was security. Okay, cause last time I've been there twice recently. The first time, cops drove by and they didn't say anything, and the last time we got kicked out because on Mondays they have like some sort of musical thing going dude, on there. And you can't go Mondays. Dude, I think I think these Avenue trucks are the truth. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, I dude, I think I think these things I think they, I think these things are the new standard in skateboarding. No. I totally gonna have to disagree with that. I'll believe it when I see Independent and Thunder making them. Yeah, totally. There you go. Boom. Bang bang. What's that other what's that what's that skateboard what's that skateboard truck that's made of gnarly metal? What's that one called? Thieve? Oh, uh, the super light ones, yeah. You ever skate them, Medina? I didn't even. Oh, Thieve Trucks? No, yeah. I never. I don't, my shop doesn't carry that. If it, if your shop doesn't carry it, you don't fuck with it, huh? That's right. That's how it goes. I shop local, bro. Before, before, before we take off again to the shout outs, I want to ask Medina, I did still you got see. Questions. Huh? Still got questions, dog. Really? Where? On the YouTube channel. What do you guys think yeah. about the whole East Coast movements, like shapeboards and high waters from Skater Guys 69666? That's sick. You back in the shapeboards and the high waters? That's yeah, that's your steez, Grant. <laughs> I've actually never had a shapeboard, but it looks fun. You definitely seem like you are a guy who has a shapeboard. I would assume that you had a shapeboard. I'd ride one. I would ride one too, but I don't know if I could get down on it like it would take me a while. The to thing get is, like, I would be down to have one, but I would also want like a normal shape board too. Yeah, totally. Like, cause there are right. certain well, tricks I wouldn't be trying to do with that. Your boy Black Diamond's been firing off questions and thoughts. He says Chris Jocelyn for Red Dragon. Oh, uh, that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Red Dragon. Red Dragon takes America. <laughs> Red Dragon literally take over the whole fucking world of skateboarding. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, funny. Why do you hate VX so much? This is not just Drew, by the way. I fucking hate VX. But why? Drew, why? Don't you guys like Beagle, though? I thought you guys like oh, Baker videos. Beagle's my favorite filmer of all time, but do I... VX has literally no place in skateboarding in 2015 or here on out. Period. I've been saying this for years. You don't need my I've opinion. I've been agreeing with you for years. I've been totally agreeing with you for years. Like, oh, you know, good, good. Yeah. But straight up, and everyone's, I know I'm going to get shit for this in the comments. It looks like I have a lazy eye. That's fucking oh, annoying. I'm Damn. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to talk about the Shane O'Neill being VX, right? What? I said someone's typing right now about the fucking Shane O'Neill part being in VX. And I understand that. I get it. But, like. I don't have a problem with VX, Freddy. I have a big problem with it. It's just, it's, it's, um. I understand, like, it's, oh, like, we're in better times now. There's more technology, HD and everything. Irrelevant. I don't know. I'm down for both. I don't care. Just the freaking, I want to watch the 80. You realize that in order to record clips, you have to now order tapes off the internet? They don't even sell that shit in stores anymore. That's how, that's called dead technology. That's like going to find a fucking VCR at Best Buy right now. Good luck. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm true. true. And you, you know how much they charge for those? Those VCRs are expensive. <laughs> I'm going to go buy a VCR. They're expensive because they no longer manufacture them. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for bed. Yeah, this is bad. All right. So <laughs> they, they, thank you for listening to the Escape Filet podcast. Uh, we'll catch you guys next week. My no shout out. Beat. Yeah, yeah. No, the, yeah. The shout outs go to the homies at Avenue Trucks. Those guys are the future. <laughs> <laughs> you you think funny. I'm lying. Oh, what, what video is that, Medina? Tampa 2000. Show me. Show me. Show, you said Bootleg 2000? No, Tampa Contest 2000. No way. That's sick. Harry Getz wins. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> wins on double flips. Spoiler. What? What's the... Just a double flip? He does raw-ass ones. I'm not going to front. Dude, that video is excellent. If whoever has seen Tampa 2000, you get 50,000 cool points because that shit is excellent. Uh, all right, so he gave a shout-out to Tampa 2000. Grant, who's your shout-out to? Uh, what is color at MSUPV? All right. Well, for Grant, Fierro, Michael Medina, I am Andrew Adiano. We are Escape Filet. We'll catch you all next week. Thank you for Mafia. listening. Mafia. Check us out on iTunes. Check out Skate. And Filet share. Share. We're trying to do big things over here. Share the fucking shit out of this video. <laughs> Talking to you.